Good afternoon. It's Thursday, February the 25th, 2021. Sago, David Lahash, Hugh Jutz, and welcome to today's COVID-19 Task Force update on this, our 181st edition of Gahnawagi 911. Today, our guest will be Frankie Massacott. She is the parenting support worker for Gahnawagi Sagotiat Gentas Community Services. Frankie. Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, I'm here to talk about the programs and activities that we're running out of the Family and Wellness Center. So I'm actually a parenting support worker along with Alana Atwin and Trudy Jacobs. And uh, we have a calendar of stuff that we're doing every week. Starting on Mondays, we have uh, the round table talk which consists of invited guests that we invite each week to join us and have discussions on informative topics that are needed in the community. Um, this program started in uh, November, if I'm not mistaken, and um, it was based on families kind of wanting information in regards to custody and shared um, sharing of visitations with their children because of the restrictions that were out and uh, families were struggling with what to do. Um, so we decided to invite some guests, which were lawyers, we had medi uh, mediators on, and uh, we saw that this was so successful because it shared a lot of information that the community was needing. So we decided to continue the program. And uh, we have invited guests up until the end of March. And actually on Monday, we will be discussing, since it's March break, we will be discussing all the fun things that families can do and we're inviting people to join us. So how this works is every Monday at two, we do a, a Zoom meeting that's uploaded to the KSCS Facebook page and people can comment or even share their questions using the email or the uh, messenger. And from there we will be uh, asking the invited guests whatever those questions are. So this week coming up, we're asking families to share ideas of what to do during uh, March break that could keep their families busy, um, especially because we're so restrained with things to do. Uh, then on Wednesdays, I actually have a great collaboration that I'm doing with Chantal Haddad, who's the nutrition, nutritionist at the Kateri Memorial Hospital. And her and I are offering to families in the community uh, cooking series. So it's called What's for Lunch and it airs the same way um, that we do our Zoom on the Mondays. It's aired uh, using a uh, Facebook Live through KSCS and what we do is we prepare the meal while uh, we're having great openly discussions about family topics and Alana Awen is actually the one that's there recording us. So it's not like this, this setup that you guys have here. <laughs> it's a little bit more um, uh, more fun, I guess I could say, a little bit more um, lighthearted. So we want to bring that that to families right now, especially because everybody's stuck at home, kids are being homeschooled, there's, you know, parents that are maybe working, so even though they're all home, they might be all scattered throughout their house, and we thought what a great way for them to spend time together, use that opportunity for them to have heartfelt conversations that or maybe not the topics they really want to have with their kids and then you know prepare a meal together and it gives them ideas of what to do with ingredients that they might not necessarily use generally or even know what to do um, so how to sign up for that would be to uh, send an email to parenting at kscsganawage.ca and uh, there's still time to register because we have a new session that's starting next week and what that gives each registered participant is the free kit of ingredients so we do have some wonderful recipes that are coming up uh, for the next four week series that we're going to be starting next week. And then we recently started on Thursday mornings a mom support group. It's actually called Moms. So what that is, it's mom offering mom support. And this resonated because we were getting a lot of feedback that new moms or moms-to-be were perhaps struggling with this isolation and a lot of anxiety and just feeling overwhelmed, especially with the restrictions, maybe not being able to be with family members or with their friends that can maybe guide them or help them when they had concerns and questions about their new babies. So Alana, Awin and I are, are facilitating this program, which takes place um, on Thursday mornings from 9.30 to 11.30. And the great thing about this is we're not asking people to sign on at, a, at 9.30 when it starts. We wanna give them that freedom to feel really comfortable to just join in when the time allows them to, because we know they're busy in the morning, maybe feeding their kids or even just trying to have a cup of coffee. And um, 
we don't want them to, to feel reserved to join in even later on. This is a, a group that's meant to support moms. And um, it's really about mental health right now. So we felt like we want to offer something that moms are going to feel really comfortable to be part of, to confide in each other, to peer, you know, peer support, and also to ask the questions that they maybe don't have anybody that they can reach out to ask questions to. And we, um, we have this group running uh, every week. Right now, we're looking at maybe closing the group, so there is still possibility to join. You can send an email, or if you'd like more information, again, to parenting at kscsganawage.ca, and uh, we'll be glad to answer your questions. And I think that about sums up what's going on with the parenting part of uh, Family and Wellness Center, but I know that there's a grief group that's running on Monday evenings, and this group right now is closed, but anybody needing support with grief can all, and if they're looking maybe perhaps to be part of a group, can always just uh, reach out to the main office, um, which is 450-632-6880, and uh, just you know, let them know that they're looking for information on the grief group and they'll forward that message to somebody from the Family and Wellness Center. And they can also, um, if they're looking for traditional support, can also reach intake through the same measures to perhaps have one-on-one -on -one sessions with a, a traditional counselor. And I know there's also a men's support group that Tom Deerhouse is running on Tuesday evenings. That's the same function. They can reach out to uh, the main office to get more information on that as well. And I think that about sums it up. I think our week is pretty full. We have a hectic, busy schedule. And if anybody is questioning what a parent support worker actually does, I know that we did have one of our discussion uh, groups that took place on the Monday. Um, back in December, we did uh, kind of elaborate a little bit more on exactly what our roles are and how we are to, their, to support families. So anybody interested in finding out more about what exactly a parenting support worker does can also can go back to the KSCS Facebook page and if they scroll down or even look at the videos they'll find it there and it'll give them all that information that they're needing or they can just call the main office and ask to be transferred to the Family Wellness Center uh, and somebody will get back to them with that information and that goes for any of the programs that we're running and the activities that we're doing. If anybody wants more information they can always reach out to the main office or they can contact parenting at kscsganawage.ca and that's about it. Nyawa. Thank you very much, Frankie. And just before we go, the Ganawagi Education Center would like to remind parents that they will be returning to a four-day school week after the March break. And also, just after our shows, we're going to be instituting a, a new segment, and it's our testimonials for the COVID-19 vaccination campaign. If you'd like to submit your own testimonial, you can do so. Uh, by sending an email to questions at mck.ca or you can visit our Facebook page which is Gahnawagi 911 and send it via messenger. And that's it for today's program. Thank you very much for joining us from all of us here. Yawagoa, Danu, Onagiwahi.